Podcast Network proudly presents the CN100 Game of the Week. Tonight, we are in Summit on the campus of Argo High School for this Class 4A sectional semifinal between the Bogan Bengals and the surprising Red Hawks of Barris. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to our Game of the Week coverage here on CN100. Alongside Cameron Smith, Mark Kruger, we're delighted to have you with us here tonight. Well, March Madness is in full swing, no doubt about it. Bogan, the number three seed, everyone expected them to be here. Marist, the number seven seed, not too many people expected them to be here. Cameron, the winner of tonight's game will take on Simeon in the sectional finals on Friday night. Here's Lexus Williams holding up top. You see the time, seven seconds to go. Nice. Back door. And nice. playing it in nicely is McIntosh, beautifully executed. And the buzzer, oh. back iron, no. And at the end of one, here at Argo, wow, what a first quarter it has been. We are tied at 15. You're watching the CM100 Game of the Week. Hogan from behind the arc, two of 10 for the game. The lead in is no good, but ripping it free is Johnson. Ball is loose oh, the great play by Johnson. Beautiful play by the Bengals. Well, I think they're pulling an offense cut. Held the bucket. The foul is going to be on Barry. That was a great play by Devon Johnson. He started this play. Look at the hustle down in the corner. Maybe got away with the push, but he had the presence of mind to see Devontae Smith streaking towards the basket. Boy, let's see if the defender, yeah, he did. I think he got over there a little bit late. That's a pretty good call. Smith completes the three-point play. That was a huge Huge three-point play for Bogan to tie the game up. I'm not sure if Maris has the answer for the height, the inside play of the Bengals. And we see Johnson again with the steal in the open court. And he lays it in, a steal on a bucket by Devon Johnson. 17 points now for Devon. Well, Devon has been very consistent throughout this game, whether it's been from the outside or getting to the rim or getting himself to the free throw line. But remember, Maris has no timeouts. Now, if you're Maris, you want to try and get something going to the basket. Of course, if you have a wide open three point opportunity, you have to take it. McIntosh will fire up the three. Oh, oh no, he'll hit, he'll hit the three. Now they have the foul. They have to make sure they foul. 61 50. That's a turnover. Turn We're sure. We're sure. We're tied. We're tied. What's the clock? There's no time on the clock. I think the officials are saying that Coach Gilton called a timeout before time expired. Oh, you're right, Cameron. Bogan called a timeout, and I think that's what the officials are talking about. They're going to have to put some time back on the clock. It has to be at least 1.5, 1.7 seconds left on that clock. Can you believe this finish? This is amazing. Maris for the second game in a row. Battling for a huge deficit. Welcome to March Madness. Welcome. If you've never experienced March Madness, this is what it's like. Chaos, drama. Oh, this is great basketball. LJ McIntosh hitting the three. Look at the three here by McIntosh. This was from about 26 feet. And he's fading away to his left on that three. And then he picks up a big steal and feeds Nick, Sw Nick Wisher for the layup. That left him in layup, that tied it up, and you see Coach Goodwin wanting a timeout, so it looks like they're putting 1.6 back on the clock. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.